the Joe Rogan experience. Well, I think we can get into epidemiology and look at that, but I think we should definitely hit protein because I think of everyone watching, like that's the biggest myth and it's the biggest sort of gripe. And then I think we should definitely hit B12. So I want to make sure. Well, let's we don't- go with B12 because one of the <clears> things <throat> that you said that he disputed was did, bring up that B12 quote that you said was complete horseshit. I can read it out if you want. Go ahead, please. Uh, B12 is this, and if you disagree with what you were critiquing, B12 isn't made, I'll read the whole thing and then. So B12 isn't made by animals, it's made by bacteria that these animals consume in the soil and water, just like. Uh, with protein, animals are only the middlemen. Before industrial farming, farming, farm animals and humans could get B12 by eating traces of dirt on plant foods or by drinking water from rivers or streams. But now, because pesticides, antibiotics, and chlorine kill the bacteria that produce this vitamin, even farm animals have to be given B12 supplements. And you said, that's just all false. That's all just factually wrong. So first of all, B12 is made by bacteria, but it's um, animals don't get it from consuming soil and water. First of all, you misrepresented what I said. So I said, it's made by bacteria that these animals consume. You went on to say that animals didn't get bacteria from the soil. That's not what I said. I said they get it from the bacteria that they got from the soil. So you misrepresented what I said. You you no, made out the the key claims you made, James, is that as po- it was po- used to be possible to get B twelve by eating dirt or on plant foods yep. or from drinking water from rivers or streams. I still have not seen convincing evidence that okay, that slide, is true. Slide, slide forty eight. And Jack Norris, a vegan dietitian, has admitted as much in his article. And then even more relevant than all of that is looking at B twelve deficiency rates between vegans, vegetarians, and omnivores uh, in the clinical literature. Like the, the other stuff is not really relevant until you get can, can we, to the clinical no, can we address? Effect. Can I address each of your critiques then? Is that okay? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> first of all, um, you said there's zero evidence that B12 is fed to cattle, right? You said that. And so can I just, first you represent it because I said even farm animals, can you put up slide uh, 44 please, Jamie? I said even farm animals have to be given B12 supplements. Okay, that's what I said. Okay. Um, so, did, could, so did you mean all farm animals? Okay, so, so do you see that? That is a, a screen cap from the film. That's a chicken. And down at the bottom, there's the quote for the poultry, right? So would you disagree that uh, like pigs and chickens and no, other farms? No, I don't disagree that they sometimes get B12, but do, do well, what, about, what about shellfish? Shellfish are extremely high in B12. They're the highest, even uh, that, higher that's than... That's a total non sequitur, and it's, it's a not strong actually, argument. actually, because no, the, I, I, the implication in the film was the d- only reason you get B12 from eating animal products is because they're given B12 supplements. So you're, are you, are you in, certainly, you're really suggesting that the, like the population gets most of its B12 from shellfish? No. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm saying that y- the claim that animals need to take B12 supplements in order to have B12... In their flesh, so you, is not wh- where accurate. do you think chickens get it from, it, James? Where do you think chickens the get the point their B12 about from? the shellfish? Was I never claimed chicken was a, a great source no, of B twelve? I said, I said, you, I said in the film, even farm animals have to be given B twelve supplements. You said that it was absolutely false. Everything that I said about B twelve, you said was absolutely false. Those are well, your words. Well, this is also you talking about that people used to be able to get it from consuming vegetables with right, okay, bacteria can we just go and dirt with, on it, and that the water is now because of pesticides and chlorine, yeah, and can, totally. the water no longer has. And then you B12 claim that the same percentage of of you you picked one study that showed. Uh, equal def- rates of deficiency and no, ignored I've, the huge I know amount of, of literature that shows big differences between vegans, vegetarians, and omnivores so can, can in I address, terms of B12 I'll address, deficiency. I know all of your critiques because I've noted them and I've got a point for each one. So can I just go, sure. go through them? And then you can, if you disagree, you can. So um, could you just, uh, Jamie, could you put up slide 45? And, I, and, I, and rather than throwing off track going to about humans, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But that, that, I mean, B12 is just commonly fed to chickens, and you, you would agree with that, right? Yeah. And, and pigs and lambs that, feel that, that can't ruminate, like ruminants can create B12 in their gut from uh, the bacteria that they yeah. eat. Okay. Yeah. So, but you brought and up cattle. Bi- bivalves and other. Yeah, no, certainly. Yeah, There's some. Fish. Yeah, but that's not, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, so, but since you brought up cattle, you said that cattle, uh, there's no evidence of cattle being fed B12. So if you bring up flight 46.
Vitamin B12 for sheep and cattle. That's what it says. Yep. You said there's no evidence. So you said there's no evidence. So I on the left, that, just so because people might not be able to read the small print. Well, listen, there's people just listening as yeah. well. So okay, yeah. sorry, for people just a, listening. So B12 the, injection for sheep and cattle. There's three different products. There's, a feed, there's here. something that's added to feed on the left. So it says a liquid complementary, complementary feeding stuff containing the essential trace elements, cobalt, yeah, selenium, for and the B12. Treatment of B12 deficiencies. Deficiency. Correct. That's due to some soils and it being, being low, low in cobalt, cobalt which is yeah. a, a lot of... Okay, yeah. so now if you just go to... F um, Slide 47, please, Jamie. Next slide. Okay. This is the largest supplier of animal uh, feed or supplements in the world, okay, on their website. Young ruminants require supplemental vitamin B12 prior to full rumen development. They also say vitamin tubers sometimes administered uh, parenterally to yeah. uh, incoming feedlot cattle. And yeah. also B12, by the way, has been shown to increase milk production. You said... There was no evidence that cattle are given B12, and you said that all my statements were absolutely false. Do you at least admit that you were wrong there? If I said that well, I've got your quote. cattle, that specifically that one portion of the statement, you said that there's all, no evidence so that, you, you that said cattle get, well, ever get B12 supplements, okay, then I was ahead, wrong read, about read, that. Read what he says. Okay. He said, first of all, when I made the full statement, this is what you first said. That's just all false. That's all just factually wrong. And then later on, you said, there's also zero evidence that B12 is fed to cattle. That is flat out wrong. And I have just shown that. Is that yeah, fair? I was wrong about okay, that. Okay. So we'll get to another point because you were wrong about many other things as well. Okay. So uh, let's see. So you agree that, um, you know, it is fed to cattle. So you want to look at humans. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any of the points that you brought up. They've been giving minerals and feet and different things to cattle right, that, forever, that's the thing. particularly that's because the thing. of what, the what, what is grain the point? diets. The, the, and the point, if cattle are deficient because they're in a feedlot where they're not eating grass. It's not only that. And yeah. that's isn't? the primary reason. It isn't only or that? Or because no, no, soils like, have become So young cows, young cows, no, right, they're but these are young cows that are most likely right, being but, in a feedlot. Right, and people have we've, been getting uh, I know that you're, meat B12 from animals. Do you, dis, do you dispute that... The primary source of B12 for human beings has been eating animals and also fish and shellfish. In, in history? Yeah. And, and from rivers in and streams and dirt? Both. No. Both. Uh, both. So, so, Wait, Joe, where is the evidence, you, where I, is the evidence that, 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 that rivers and streams and dirt has been a primary well, source I'm gonna, of B12? I'm obviously going to give it to you. Okay. You think I came here today? You think I made claims in the film that I couldn't back up? Perhaps. Because there are, are, a lot, there are, are actually you're, you're quite also, a few claims. We did. We we went over those in the last show. Yeah. So, so, so can, so, I, can, can but, we stick with the B twelve? Sure. Okay. So um, can we just go to slide forty eight? Hold on a second, please. Um, so B twelve concentration fluctuated between one hundred. So and this is in uh, the levels of water in the English Lake District. If you want to go to slide forty nine. Uh, the vegetables uh, were, were, the vegetables were eaten without being carefully washed. The strict vegetarians who do not practice hand washing or vegetable cleaning may be untroubled by vitamin B12 deficiency. And, and by the way, the, the, re the retained vitamin D12 for soil was adequate to prevent B12 deficiency. So what you're essentially yeah. saying is that we're dealing with B12 that was in soil and, and water, then in yeah. water and that by the chlorination and filtration systems that we use today, that's what's ruining the water and the water does not have well, the we B12 sani we sanitize in it anymore. water now, right. which is a good thing. Yes, but, but that also why... takes out the B12. Sure. So, he, so that so, makes your statement correct. So, so he was wrong again. That's not the consensus view that you can get enough B12 from eating unwashed vegetables. No, no, I'm not no, saying. That's not I'm what not saying. he didn't necessarily say that was the consensus view. What he said in the statement was that the reason why we no longer have B12 in the water and in the soil is because of the fact that they add chlorines and pesticides, and it seems like there's evidence to back that so up. So again, I, there was, on, now. Uh, People the, have questioned, the, did I spend a thousand hours? Okay, now that I'm giving you the facts, do you question that I spent a thousand hours? And I've spent sent another two thousand hours looking at peer reviewed research since then. If you say you have, I don't I have no reason to disbelieve. It's okay, a lot of time. It's a lot. Of, a thousand hours is a lot of time. Like, what was it? Lane, uh, Lane, Lane Norton said that you should probably have gotten a PhD. I think, that would, well, I don't think that's the case. I think there's people a lot smarter than me that are making these scientific But I mean, the ma that amount of hours <coughs> of research, you literally... I've, I, I've estimated that I've done, conservative estimate, I've done 
since then about 3,000 hours because once I started making the, the mm-hmm. film and doing that, then I didn't. Anyway. I believe you. So anyway. There are also so can B12 I th- analogs in the soil that aren't absorbed and utilized like true B12. Oh, great. But you, again, you don't. But, but, but they, two thing, but, two, can, you, can we admit the two things, the yes. two things that we've, you touched on so far, you, you got wrong? Absolutely that it's proven that cattle do receive B12 under whatever circumstances. I don't right. know whether it's because they're grass-fed or grain-fed. <clears throat> I'm assuming they're feedlot animals <clears throat> that don't get proper nutrients from soil, right. don't get proper nutrients. I mean, if you're getting these grain-fed, fed, soybean-fed cattle, and they're just pouring this dried-out shit into a bucket, these animals are not grazing, and they're, they're right. likely deficient in a lot of different things. Totally, and, that, and that's this why... There's also, they've always been supplementing their diet with minerals, supplementing vitamins. their diet with vitamins. Right, and that's the funny yes. thing. People are like, oh, well, um, let's just take the extreme end of a, a plant-based diet, vegans, right? Mm-hmm. So people say, oh, well, vegans have to take a supplement. Well, guess what? You're supplementing anyway. You're just doing it indirectly. If you are eating that kind of animal. But ni- 99% of the, yes, of the beef, somewhere for example. Somewhere around there, yeah. 97 to 99. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, so the vast majority. So... Where, you know, people are getting it. You, you're supplementing. You're not just supplementing by B12. You're supplementing D in the in the um, You're respiratory. getting it from someone who supplements it in the feed of the animal. Exactly. And then you get it that way. Exactly. Not generally not if you're eating grass-fed beef, not if you're eating shellfish, right, but that's not only, if you're eating right, fish. But, but, but let's not, but like, you love to point to- Grass-fed beef, again, but let's is look at one to three percent. I, but let's I, just, let's just I, admit I, that you made, I, you made I, a mistake. I, Can you just admit that you made a mistake? There? About Well, B12. both of those things. B12 in cattle and, and then you have a third point- so we had the B12 in cattle. You had that you there was no evidence. You said there was zero evidence about that. You said there was no evidence about being able to get it from water and and uh, uh, from dirt, which again I proved to be you, you to be wrong. And and the third thing that you that said, I th- said sp- that there's no evidence that humans primarily got their B12 from eating from soil and water, which no, is no. what you That's said in what the said. quote. No, I didn't. You're misre- again, he's misrepresenting and he's wrong, Joe. You've got to admit that you, in this case. Well, he's clearly wrong about B12 being given to cattle. I mean, we showed three right. different so, so supplements. I, this is, this is so the main issue. It says before industrial farming, farm animals and humans could get B12 by eating they traces could. of dirt on plant foods or Correct. by drinking water from rivers or streams. Correct. So you don't think that people will get the idea from hearing that that – we never needed to consume animal products to get B12, and we, we, didn't o- need we to only consume. could we could get plenty from eating Correct. soil. And wa- so, where is the evidence f- for for that, other than the one study that you showed there? That that's because most evidence uh, well, we, of vegans, who, as, even vegans these who are, are modern, supplementing, these are modern vegans, right? Yeah, we, so, we, so he's talking about something. But, but you see different. what he's going off his, on a track here because yes. he got two things wrong. So I the agree third with thing, you on this because okay. his, his statement is essentially saying mm-hmm. that the reason why we don't get it today is because of we chlorination and fluoridation of water, pesticides. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So your third point, you, I said this. You took issue with my claim, okay? And up to 39% of people tested, including meat eaters, are low in B12. As a result, the best way for humans to get enough B12, whether they eat animal foods or not, is simply take a supplement. Then you said he didn't provide a reference for that, so it's hard to check. But again, it contradicts, you know, mounds of evidence on B12 efficiency. So can you bring up slide 50, please, Jamie? You said that I didn't provide a reference. Okay. But in the bottom left, where we put all of the references and ever I made a claim about the scientific research... Oh, well, it's covered by the... No, it'll, it'll go away in a second. Okay. Okay. Allegedly. There it yeah, goes. there you go. Okay. So, so first of all, there's the reference. You claim you didn't have a reference. Would you admit that you were yeah, wrong? I missed that. Okay. Three times wrong about B12. Okay. So can we just go into your study, Your sorry, your ebook on B12? You basically said, I don't know where you got that study from. Your B12 ebook opens with the exact same study. So can you put up slide 51? Please, Jamie. Okay, is that your ebook on the left? Yes. Okay, you rounded up to forty, but I kept it at thirty-nine. Okay, uh, because I was being specific. B twelve deficiency is far more common than most healthcare practitioners and the general public realize. Data from the Tufts University Framingham Offspring Study suggests that forty percent of people between the ages of twenty-six and eighty-three have plasma B twelve levels in the low normal range, a range at which many experience neurological symptoms. That was the opening statement of your B12 yeah. ebook, and you claimed that where you couldn't find the evidence of that study. I no disagreement that B12 deficiency is an issue. I talked about that on my website. Yeah, but that's and not what, that's e-book. not what you said on the last time you were on Joe's podcast. 
you said i don't know he didn't provide a reference for that so it's hard to check but it contradicts the evidence if that's not reflective of the preponderance of evidence why did you open your ebook with it it's not re it, okay so there's two different issues here one is do omnivores get b12 deficiency right, do they? yes they right. do okay and 40 okay, percent so of people tested in this study which is one that you reference that's right <laughs> and there are many I'm not saying the study is bad. But you I'm said just that saying, no, let's you, look at all of you the You said other. that I didn't provide a reference, but you, uh, did you, do you write your own uh, e-books, by the way? I do. And you don't remember that study? No. I oh, write wow. a lot. Oh, okay. James, so, so, do you know how do you have any so, idea how many articles I've written over the years? Right. Do you, do you uh, remember uh, do you remember every study from every article? I don't know no, if no, no. you write. So no, I, I don't because I'm, I'm a combatives trainer and that's the thing. Do you not feel like I'm a combatives trainer? You yourself recognize that you're not a nutrition expert, right? You said that at the beginning. I'm not a, a, a nutritionist. I have master's level training in nutrition. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, I mean, there's so, two so, issues. So, you've got a there's number of things wrong here. about B12. There's two issues what, is, here. what does that specifically mean, like master's level training in nutrition? Right. Thank mean? you, Joe. Well, in California, uh, acupuncturists have a four-year master's program, which includes a lot of medical sciences and nutrition research methodology, et cetera, because we're considered primary care providers in the state of California. So the training is a lot different than it is in other places. So there's the question of can omnivores develop B12 deficiency? Yes, they can. If you go and right, look, and, at, the, and look actually, at the rest of the ebook, it's because of things like SIBO, right, bacterial and you're, you're overgrowth, actually, you're and actually small accept intestine. Higher ranges. You'll actually accept higher ranges of what would be considered potentially deficient, right? Yes. You'll, you'll say like three, four hundred might be deficient. So that would mean that even more people were deficient, right? Now, I'm not arguing that vegans can be uh, more deficient than omnivores. Um, but c can I just go to slide 52? So, can, so I, can I go to slide 52? Please? So okay. what, is the, what is the question here if you're not arguing that no, I'm, B12 there's, there's deficiency not a there's not, can be more, is more common in well, I'm, vegans I'm pointing and, out that and you made vegetarians? I'm pointing out that you... Because that is what clinically makes the difference. If right. someone is B12 deficient... I'll get to that. Then, then you, they you think, develop I, you think I'm not prepared to get to that? I will get to that. You said that like the four or five claims that I made about B12 were patently false. I've already pointed out three of the things that you got wrong out of the five. And you are the one that like is recommending and telling people what to eat. I am a combatives trainer and my facts in this case are the, the this facts. This doesn't and change anything about the facts. Joe, I'm, I'm recommending. No, it does what, because what it's, is it's really dangerous. The recommendation is it's still that people get enough B12 Joe, and it, that they are mm. less likely to do that on a vegetarian and vegan diet. And there's lots of studies showing that. Can an, omni okay. can an omnivore, so, so, can an omnivore develop B12 deficiency? Absolutely. I see it in yeah, my practice. Vast, and, and nearly all of the people that Not were... Not the vast majority. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. The vast majority of that 40% were meat eaters. You referenced... You didn't reference the study, That's by the only way. because there are more meat eaters in the general no, population. I agree. I agree. Not, that, that has nothing to do with the fact that, be, that to, meat eaters are getting yeah, more I'm B12 not, deficient. I'm, I'm not arguing... We're, We've got all of these studies about homocysteine, 9 out of 10 reviews that have shown higher homocysteine levels in vegans can, Joe, and can vegetarians. We stick to, can we stick to the point that he made last time as I'll never get to okay. rebut? Okay. So you, when you referenced the Framingham study, you didn't link to the study. You linked to an article from the USDA about the study. And that study said, oddly, uh, the researchers found no... Again, this is the opening statement of your e-book e references this study. But you, fa you didn't mention this part. Oddly, the research has found no association between plasma B12 levels and meat, poultry, and fish intake, even though those foods supply the bulk of B12 in the diet. It's not because people aren't eating enough meat to get their B12, Tucker said. It's the vitamin isn't getting absorbed. So, is that, so this backs up my claim that the safest way to get B12 is to take a supplement. Now, Chris will just say, for so, 60 can I just fin finish on this point? And sure. then you can rebut as much as you want. So, your claim was, well, people can just go and get um, so you agree that, so, um, no, I would say that vegans that don't supplement and omnivores, there's a lot more deficiency in vegans, right? Like it's a, it's a nutrient of concern that vegans should be cautious of. I yeah, agree with that. That's pretty much universal. Okay, that's, that's accepted, right? Yes. Yeah. So, but that you, even if you don't accept the 40% number, even though that you said that- I didn't say I didn't accept that. In that okay, study. but it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you accept it or not. It, like, you've even said that like, we should consider higher levels B12 division. So it would make even more, but it doesn't, that doesn't really matter. The point is that- you were saying that, um, where was I going with this? Hang on. 
they're saying the vitamin's not getting absorbed and that B12... Oh, even, so my point my yes. point was it's safer to just take a B12 supplement. And for the general population in the world, that is the best recommendation. You'll say you can go to your doctors and get a $60 uh, blood test and test for B12 and then you can decide whether you need a supplement or not. May I, may I stop you guys both here? Yeah. Why isn't it getting absorbed? If there is a higher level of <clears throat> vitamin B12 in fish and... There's other factors that inhibit the absorption. So what are those factors? Is one, yeah. one likely Yeah, people's conditions, but also in the food itself. Over growth in the small intestine so 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 joe so basically um but we still have the we no, no, still so have the data can, here can i just go back to the <laughs> argument about because i yes. said the best safest way for everyone to get b12 is to take a supplement right, right? you say well you can just spend 60 dollars and get a blood test yeah, but you've got to recognize that in the world not everybody can afford Absolutely. 60 dollars. okay so the safest way to get b12 if you whether you eat meat or not, is to get take a B12 supplement. We know well, that it's the surest way. Let's just Thank all you. agree on that. It's the surest way. And it's the no surest sure. way for sure. But then when you've got studies that show, you know, 11% of omnivores have B12 depletion versus 77% of vegetarians and 92% of vegans. You know, that's with using holotranscobalamin, which is a much more sensitive marker of B12 deficiency than serum B12, which is really problematic. And then you have nine out of 10 comparisons of homocysteine that found higher levels of homocysteine in vegetarians and omnivores um, and higher levels in vegans compared to vegetarians. And homocysteine is also a more sensitive marker than serum B12. So okay. there's four stages of B12 deficiency and serum B12 will only go down out of range in the fourth and final stage of B12 deficiency. So these other studies that I shared on the last show mm -hmm. are looking at holotranscobalamin, which was the most sensitive marker of B12 depletion. It's not technically d deficiency at that point. And then you have homocysteine and methylmalonic acid that are uh, more sen less sensitive than holotranscobalamin, but more sensitive than serum B12. Okay. Okay, can you bring up slide 54, please? Okay, and I need to show you. So not only have you got all the facts wrong so far about B12 of my claims, you said that they were all false and they weren't false, right? Every claim that I made so far was backed up by science and you have admitted that you made mistakes. Okay, so I've this is your slide. This is your slide, right? This is because this is how I can show that he's handpicking these studies to make his claim. You said that 92% of vegans were deficient in Let's B read what it says. It's B12 okay. depletion among uh, omnivores, vegetarians, and vegans. Uh, vegans, not, we got to remember that most people are probably listening versus watching. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's yeah. okay. So vegans, 92%, it says 77, mm -hmm. vegetarians, 77%, and omnivores, 11% okay. for B12 uh, depletion. But that study showed it was more like 40% of depletion, even though no, that, that was across the board. Right? But I'm, I'm not trying to compare the two. Okay. I'm just trying to say your case by using the study is that 92% of vegans are deficient in B12 and omnivores not are not. Deficient. Depleted. Okay. Depleted. Whatever. I'm, I'm okay. not, I'm not going okay, to try to... Okay, whatever the number I'm not, trying to pick I'm not trying to pick apart this study. Okay. I agree with the study. Okay. Okay. Can you just go to the next slide, please, Chris? I think it's slide 55. Okay. This is from the study. Okay. This is from 16 years ago, by the way. Okay. And a very small study from 16 years ago. And this is why I show you that he's handpicking the data that he uses. And this is where I go back to the fact that it's about the interpretation of the totality of evidence. And you can't really rely on someone that's not a nutrition expert handpicking studies to suit their bias. So in sub this is what it said. In subjects who did not consume vitamins, the, the levels were what Chris said, right? 11% uh, in omnivores, 70% in... So I would agree, like, if you couldn't get B12 anywhere, you should incorporate some animal foods into your diet. Fair. Okay, but let's look at some other studies. So slide 56. And again, I'm only ch choosing a few. I'm sure, you know, certainly they're in my favor. And I'm not saying that vegans don't have lower B12 levels because some people don't supplement, right? But you, I'm showing that you handpicked a study from 16 years ago. Slide 56 from, uh, and this is for a newer study from 2018 with twice the sample size uh, of the ones. And they, you know, people now know you should take a B12 supplement. The studied markers indicate a generally sufficient cobalamin status independently of the diet preferences, lacto over vegetarian or vegan. Slide 57. Now this is a study that looked at runners in May of 2019, really current. And it feels like you might not have the most current data because you said to me in your email, that you, this nutrition is only one part of what you do and you have lots of other things that you're doing, right? So slide 57, this is comparing vegans, vegetarians, and omnivores. And all, these are runners? 
Yeah, and, and recreational athletes. runners. Recreational runners, yeah. All three groups showed an adequate biomarker status of B12-related parameters, and then Flight 58, it would be. And this one not only backs up my point about vegans, but also, uh, and plant-based eaters, but also um, that supplement users are better. So the vitamin B12 status of supplement users of vegans and omnivores was higher compared to the non-supplement users. And a higher proportion of non-supplement users had B12 parameters outside the reference range. You know, they, they were low. So... Again, that's more evidence that people, it's a good idea to supplement in general because you just have higher levels. And, and, after, and, and the consensus recommendations after you get over 50, you have lower intrinsic. It's, it's a water-soluble vitamin anyway, right? Yeah, but just, the, after 50, you lose intrinsic factor, so you can't absorb as much. So right, the but it's not, it's not dangerous to have higher levels. So even no, 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 you could, like, yeah, exactly. It's a good thing to supplement, period. Right, agree, and, and right? the blanket recommendation. So every single thing that I said in the B12 statement is true so, and backed up by... So, so, Jamie, bring up yeah. slide 59 for me. If we're looking at totality of evidence, let's look at more evidence. Totally. But again, I, I, I'm not pointing those three studies out to say there's not more. I'm saying that you handpicked a study where vegans no, were I not... No, I didn't handpick a study, James. There's many studies here. No, you we picked one where they were not studies. taking vitamins. And I agree. So we agree that people on plant-based diets... We should agree take vitamin. For yes. vitamin B12. I see and, what you're saying. And we agree that most people are getting their B12 supplemented anyway, just indirectly through animals. Fair enough? Fair enough if you okay. follow the diet that these animals were on, where they were Which is the most to majority of people. Supplement. And yes. again, I would say, like, look, if you want to eat 95% plants, and Do you're going to- Do we know how common it is for them to supplement animal diet with B12? Is it a rare thing that, no, no, no. So due in, to metabolic with, with condition? With cattle, with cattle with it's cattle? lower, because there's yeah. a lot of, a lot, but Much it's not that rare. Cattle. Well, it's lower, but it's not super rare because a lot of soil is deficient in cobalt and cows need to consume the cobalt to manufacture the B12 in their, in their rumen. So it's more of a side effect of uh, mineral and nutrient for, deficient for cows, soils for ruminants, for But not for pigs and chickens and, right. and that sort of stuff. So, okay. um, Vegans have higher homocysteine levels than omnivores. Not out of 10 comparisons found higher homocysteine levels in vegetarians and omnivores and higher levels in vegans than vegetarians. Right. And, and the prevalence of hyperhomocysteinemia among vegetarians may actually be higher than that among non-vegetarians already diagnosed with heart disease. So that's nine of 10 comparisons. That's not handpicking one study. That's nine out of 10 comparisons that have been done on this topic. Right. And the out, like you said before, we shouldn't just look at the markers. We should look at the outcomes, right? And, and yeah, the outcomes is that vegans and vegetarians with talking. higher <clears throat> the, the vegans and vegetarians with higher homocysteine levels do not have increased risk of cardiovascular disease or diabetes or death from those or from cancer. I didn't make the claim that they do from right. that, so, from so that so study. Then, I'm so making, then, we're talking about B12 and homocysteine being a marker of B12 right. and deficiency. I am, and Chris, here. I am showing that you picked a study from 2016, which had a t very small sample size. That which, was nine which, out of which, ten comparisons right there. That was not that was the only study that no, I, I I'm not that saying that you, I'm not saying you that, that study. I am saying that when you came to B12, all of the statements that I made in the film were true, and you said that they were patently false, and you were wrong. I didn't. Joe, come on. <clears throat> I, like, now, well, listen, I've come in here. Yeah, I've right, said I've, it already. Yeah. yeah. No, so I, I just want to make you're, sure. You're correct. Right. Because I've come in here, and people are saying, oh, what are you going to say to that debunk? Chris did not debunk the film. He made misrepresentations of our claims, and he got things factually wrong. Well, he certainly seems to have gotten it factually wrong that animals, particularly cows, are not given B12 supplements. He certainly seems to have gotten it factually wrong that at least some of the B12 that people would be able to get in the past, right. they got from water and soil. And that 40% of people are uh, Division of B12, and that the best way to get B12 is the supplement. So he got I, everything. Still, so, I so, so, so can I, can I just I finish? Can I just, fin can I just finish? Can I just finish? Yes. <laughs> I know, but you're, but you're wrong. So, so the thing is, I have proven that he got three or four things factually wrong. Are About you 12 Right. And yes. I am a combatives instructor. Okay. Do I've you, heard that. Right. Heard so, that a couple but times. I'm just saying, I'm putting myself yes, down. I understand. I'm not like a super intelligent guy. Well, you are, so you are very intelligent. I've said that before. And what you did is you did research on these very important subjects right. and you acquired a lot of data. So I, but this I, is what yeah. people do when they go to school. I mean, it's like the difference between someone who's educated and not educated is not whether or not they go to a specific place. No, I, totally. It's whether or totally. not they absorb the information and when they study. And you, yeah, and by, if you by, said by, you studied a thousand hours before the film and 3,000 since, that you're, you're obviously educated. 
You understand so, what you're talking about. So, it's so um, anyway, you got things factually wrong about it to be 12. So, to, to the people listening or watching, do you really want to put the interpretation of the data in the hands of someone that just got so many things wrong about B12? Well, he got yeah. things wrong about your <clears throat> assertions about B12. Yeah, I made, yeah, I made four or sure. five the, claims. The claims that yeah. still stand that vegetarians and vegans have much higher rates of B12 de depletion or deficiency than no. omnivores. The bulk of the study If they're show, supplementing, they do not. Show, if well, they're supplementing, they don't. Of course not. But if not. they don't right, but supplement, everyone agrees. But like, there's no disagreement. Right. Vegans and vegetarians, and anyone over 50, and mo like the safest way, and you're now disputing the safest way to get B12 is to take a supplement. It's the best way to get it's B12. It's the surest way to get B12, but it's not necessary for many people. Right, for people that can afford that to get blood tests, a, which is not most of the world. Products. Like, you, we're, we're sitting in, in America in a nice, like, air-conditioned room, and, you know, we've got cars, and we drove here, and we can afford to go to the doctor. Like, the best way to get B12 is to take a supplement, period. And you're wrong if you think otherwise. If you can afford, yeah, sure. If you can afford so, blood well, tests every six gonna, months, if you, but, but we're going to get but if you B12 have a supplements diet, to everybody second, around the world. But hold too? on, that's expensive, right? Here's the thing: if you so, have sorry, a diet well, that gives you the ample amount of B12, then you don't need a supplement. Then you sure. don't need a supplement. Sure. What you're saying is that blood tests are expensive, so you should take an expensive supplement. No, they're not expensive. B12? So, no, it's like if you buy it in bulk, it's like two dollars a year. But no, I'm not a saying year? that. Yeah, yeah. If you buy it in bulk, two dollars a year. If you buy in bulk, you buy your vitamins. <laughs> if you if you if you buy some cyanide, like, you probably want to really. Got, yeah, you've got it. But the the, th the trick is you got to like you'd have to split it with a bunch of uh, people because it's like a year's worth of supply. But anyway, Jesus Christ. But so so no, the argument is that I feel and like I've, I should and I've also shown donate to the world. If I've it's also, only two bucks a year. I feel I, like I could hook a lot of people up. I, I've also shown that in the study that you presented in your ebook. E stated that like they weren't absorbing it as well from animal products. I'm not saying there's not B12 in animal products. And also, we have to remember one last thing, that the B12 that people are getting in animal products, it was supplemented in the first place. In some. No, in not some in cases. cases. In, in the vast majority not of- Not in wild-caught fish, not in grass-fed, not in no, shellfish. Not as much in, in the ruminants. Vast, <laughs> in the vast majority of animal products that people are eating, B12 was supplemented. And so I'm just saying, the safest way to get B12 is to take a supplement. In the vast majority, is that true? Yeah, you think the vast majority of people are eating uh, wild caught fish, and yeah, but um, I don't know how many animals are actually all, getting those all, supplements. All like, of the I chickens, have friends, all, all of the chickens, all, all the chickens, of, all of the chickens. But because, that's chickens. Because, all chickens the, are omnivores. They're not fed omnivorous diets for right. the most part, unless they're free range chickens. Have you give it? You ever seen a chicken fuck up a mouse? It's pretty stunning. Yeah, yeah, they're carnivorous little monsters. Then chickens, and when you get them and you get those eggs, and the eggs are like a, a really dull yellow, those are animals <coughs> that are eating grain only. Those are right. vegetarian chickens. That's not what they want to eat. What they want to eat is worms and Yeah, they're not living in their natural rodents. state. Yeah. Right. In their natural state, they or probably habitat. don't need to have supplementation. This is sort of an argument against vegetarian diets for chickens, really, because no. chickens aren't really supposed to eat that way. Yeah. And feedlot for beef. For feedlot <coughs> for beef, exactly. Are, They're not supposed to eat grain so either. Can so we get to protein? Because I think sure. if we miss protein, then we've like done <coughs> no, a No, we're not going to miss it. We have plenty yeah. of time. Cool. I'll keep so going all day. So the B12, you made some excellent points, and you definitely cl uh, cleared up uh, what was what was misrepresented right. by what you and, said. Right, and it's, it's really why I really appreciate you having me on, because you guys did like a three-hour debunk, Right. And there was just a lot of things that were factually wrong. And there's more that I can point out. Okay, that were factually let's, wrong. let's get so into I, the I really, I just really appreciate you having me on because you gave me the opportunity. My, <laughs>